Hello, this is Thibaut for another tutorial animation video. So today it will be a Amy Hero section. Uh, it will be done with, uh, as usual, with bricks and motion page. This time is a bit special because I uh, requested in the motion page Facebook group um, uh, the if people had any request in terms of animation, of tutorial, uh, if they saw something on a website that they was pretty nice and uh, they wanted to reproduce it. So I got some uh, requests and one of them was about this website. So it's made on Webflow, uh, so it's not a WordPress, uh, but it has really nice animation. As you can see the text, there is a, for each of the text, there is an entrance animation. Again. And after there is an element sliding in and the, some part of the text is sliding out. And there is an image also uh, uh, coming in. So as you can see, it's called Hello, I'm Any, <laughs> but I've changed it and I've done hello, I'm Amy. So just to see that it's different, it's not Amy, but Amy. Sorry, it's stupid uh, change, but it's just for the sake of the exercise. So uh, I, it's just the hero, hero section. There is no uh, header. I mean, that you, you can do uh, on, on your side, I believe. Uh, what I wanted to do is the animation, the entrance animation of the hero section. So as you can see, there is the animation for each of the texts and also the animation with the sliding in and out of the elements. So how it's done. So let's see bricks first. So I have uh, two sections. One, the second section is a dummy section, just for the sake of the uh, pin section, which is the first one. We will see after the motion page uh, 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 elements. So this section is actually built with a div because, as you can see. Uh, the text and uh, many of the things inside are not inside a, 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 a container. So I use a div for that instead of container. Maybe it's not the proper way, but, but for, for this time I've, I've, I've done it like that. So there is a what I call a hello wrapper. So that's the main big text here. What I call a wrapper right. So that will correspond to the white aspect of the animation. And there is a wrapper black. So the black aspect of the animation. So the important thing here is uh, this div actually, because uh, first I didn't have that. And with the section, which is the pin element in motion page, uh, actually, the, the, the element through the animation is getting fixed because it's pinned. And I'm using um, mix blend mode to make the change of the text from black to white. And if there is not this div between the uh, elements which are uh, changing color, and the section, it doesn't work. That's one of the restriction of the um, mix band mode. The, if you have a, a fixed element next to it, it doesn't work. So my, let's inside what we have. So I have one text, the hello, the I'm Amy. Then I have my wrapper white. So why two? Because as you can see in the animation, Here, there is a time, a, a different timing for for the the scrolling. So I need to separate these two. 
so it's easier for the um, for the uh, uh, motion page animation. Then my wrapper write as the text on bottom left and bottom right. So text bottom on the left and the right. Then my wrapper black. So it has the, the image, which is a PNG. So uh, we have a, 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 um, no background on the image. So that's why you can see just the, uh, the, the person, no background on, on this one. Let me show you again. As you can see, there is no uh, no background. I mean, it could be black, but in the, in this case, it's really a, a, a PNG with uh, no background at all. So, uh, and then I have my container for the second text, which is appearing. I, as you can see here, together with the links to the social media. So one thing is to to remember is um, the hello I'm Amy will have to have a Z, Z index of I put twenty it could be whatever, but higher than the rest because it has to to sit on top of everything just to be sure um anything else i'm missing here important point i won't go all, through all the details of how i build every 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 elements i mean that you can do uh, easily by yourself anyway as usual i will provide with the templates the json and the motion page once actually there are two so let's see the motion page. So uh, motion page. So there are two. Uh, there are two uh, timeline actually. Uh, I build it this way. Um, first one is to make the entrance animation of the text. And second timeline is for the text and the other elements to slide in and out. So uh, motion page. So first animation for the text entrance. So it's on page load before load. So there is no uh, F O U C F F hook uh, issue. Um, I put an opacity of zero. Uh, a slight translate to the bottom of 50% of its own size, a small scale down of 0 0.8, and a rotation of minus 90 degree. Then I'm moving back the opacity to 1, translate to the original position, scale to the original size, and the rotation to the original position. And I'm doing this for every element. Slightly different for the scale for the big one, um, because it's it looks better uh, as as this. So that's the result. And the second animation, uh, sorry, timeline, is for the rest. So here I'm using scroll trigger locking to scroll bar i'm pinning the section element and as you can see i have four animation so the ami wrapper black so let's finish sorry for the pin elements as usual, uh, I stop 0% bottom minus 100% and I'm doing an offset of 100% so it gives a slight friction 
to the to the scroll bar when when scrolling down and nothing from the from it's just to the two i'm using a clip path so actually uh it's pretty easy it's a inset to its original size of uh, zero 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 uh so that's why we have it's you see sliding to the original size then the picture wrapper the picture wrapper um it's i'm starting it from the its absolute position so i'm starting from right at 50 percent to a two at 10 percent then the hello text i'm moving from nothing to minus 200 percent so it will go on the left by twice its uh, length then the amy text so i'm amy so i'm not doing a 200 percent but 150 so that's why you have a different timing between the two so minus 150 percent so it will go 1.5 times its length on the left so the final is something like this again sorry to repeat but let's see again the, the animation so it was quite interesting to do um there are many in this page there are many other animations so uh some of them are repeating the uh, text and entrance animation so that's quite uh, uh useful for the for if you want to to use the uh, animation to continue the uh, the, the page uh, uh, elements animation so pretty nice uh, anim pretty nice page so there is a marquee you see the text is always has the same type of animation so um again same type of animation that can be done with a Maybe it can be done with a motion page, but also it can be done. There is a small library. I forgot the name about it, but you there is such a thing that you can round the text around something. So again, pin pin elements. If I refresh again the page. Ah, let's start from the beginning. Up, 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 up. You see? For the images, it's it's the same. It's it's a, a clip path inset. So instead of uh, coming from the left or the right, it's coming from the bottom. Um, I will show you something. If you look on clip path on the web, there is this. Clippy from bennettfeely.com and I'm using that quite a lot. So for instance, the inset is easy. You, it's quite visual, so you can you have the code here. So when there is a full inset, so it's zero 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 the, for the clip path. And then if I'm putting no image, so bottom so it's css order so top right bottom left so the bottom is at 100 percent so it's not appearing but then if i put it at zero it's coming back so for those animation um that we saw it's the same thing you will have to do a clip path from uh bottom from zero to hundred percent oh sorry from hundred percent to zero so, so it's it's uh making the image appearing uh any other comments uh marquee um 
I may do a marquee um, uh, tutorial. However, I think there is, I'm not sure actually, if there is a tutorial for marquee in the motion page of YouTube, uh, 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 in the, the YouTube of motion page, the YouTube channel, sorry. Um, let's see later. Okay, so if you have any question or remark or you would like any other tutorial, just let me know. Thank you.